In Hinduism, the gods are often classified into three main categories, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the preserver, and Shiva is the destroyer. These three gods represent the cycle of birth, life, and death that is at the heart of Hindu philosophy. In this video, we will explore the mythology and significance of these three gods in detail. Brahma, the creator. Brahma is often depicted as a bearded man with four faces, each facing in a different direction. He is also known as Swayambhu, which means self-created. According to Hindu mythology, Brahma was the first god to emerge from the cosmic egg, Hiranyagad, that appeared at the beginning of time. He is often depicted carrying a book and a rosary in his hands. Brahma is responsible for creating the universe, including all living beings. He is said to have created everything from the four Vedas to the four castes, Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, and Shudras. However, Brahma is not often worshipped in Hinduism, and there are very few temples dedicated to him. This is because he is seen as having completed his task of creation and therefore does not need to be worshipped anymore. Vishnu, the Preserver Vishnu is one of the most important gods in Hinduism and is often referred to as the preserver of the universe. He is often depicted as a handsome young man with four arms, holding a conch shell, a discus, a mace, and a lotus flower. Vishnu is said to have taken ten different incarnations or avatars to protect the world from evil forces. The ten incarnations of Vishnu are Mitsya, the fish, Kurmar, the turtle, Varaha, the boar, Narsimha, the half-moon, half-lion, Vamnar, the dwarf, Krishrama, the warrior with an axe, Rama, the hero of the Ramayana, Krishna, the hero of the Mahabharata, Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, and Koki, the destroyer of evil at the end of time. In each incarnation, Vishnu appears on earth to protect the universe from evil forces. For example, as Rama, he defeated the demon king Ravana and restored order to the universe. As Krishna, he played a key role in the Mahabharata war, which led to the establishment of the Pandava dynasty. Vishnu is also associated with the concept of Dharma, which refers to the natural order of the universe. He is often depicted as sitting on a coiled serpent. Shesha, in the middle of the cosmic ocean, with his consort Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth and prosperity, at his side. Together, they represent the balance and harmony of the universe. Shiva, the Destroyer Shiva is often referred to as the Destroyer, but this is not an accurate representation of his role in Hindu mythology. Shiva is also associated with creation and transformation. He is often depicted as a yogi with a third eye on his forehead, and a serpent coiled around his neck. He is also associated with the bull, Nandi, who is his mount. Shiva is said to have destroyed the universe three times, once with fire, once with water, and once with wind. However, he is also associated with the creation of the universe. According to Hindu mythology, Shiva created the dance of destruction, Tandu, which is said to represent the rhythm of the universe. He is also associated with the Lingam, which is a symbol of his creative power. Shiva is often depicted as an ascetic who meditates in the mountains. He is associated with renunciation and detachment from worldly possessions. However, he is also known for his fierce and destructive form, as seen in his representation as Nataraja, the Lord of the Dance. In this form, he is depicted as dancing on the demon of ignorance and destruction, symbolizing the triumph of knowledge over ignorance. Shiva is also associated with many other aspects of Hindu mythology, including his marriage to Parvati, the goddess of fertility and devotion, and their two sons, Ganesha, the elephant-headed god of wisdom, and Kartikeya, the god of war. Shiva is also associated with the holy river Banga, which is said to have flowed from his hair. The Significance of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva are often referred to as the Trimurti, which means the three forms. They represent the three aspects of the universe, creation, preservation, and destruction. These three aspects are interdependent and essential for the balance and harmony of the universe. Brahma represents the beginning of life and the creation of the universe. 
Vishnu represents the preservation of life and the maintenance of balance and harmony in the universe. Shiva represents the transformative and destructive forces of the universe, which allow for new growth and evolution. In Hinduism, these three gods are not seen as separate entities, but rather as different aspects of the same ultimate reality. They are often referred to as Ishwara, which means Lord. Together, they represent the cycle of birth, life, and death, which is at the heart of Hindu philosophy. In conclusion, Brahmar, Vishnu, and Shiva are three of the most important gods in Hinduism. They represent the three aspects of the universe, creation, preservation, and destruction, and are essential for the balance and harmony of the universe. While Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the preserver, and Shiva is the destroyer, they are not seen as separate entities, but rather as different aspects of the same ultimate reality. Together, they represent the cycle of birth, life, and death, which is at the heart of Hindu philosophy. Thanks for watching.